Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I want to introduce to you um, filtering for USB port. So we will talk about EMI situation on USB port. For this reason, I recommend to use for the data line at least a common mode choke. This common mode choke should be something like 90 ohm impedance. Additional, I suggest to use as well a transient voltage suppressor. In this case, I use a TVS array. And please don't forget the 5 volt as well. The 5 volt power supply must be also filtered, like here in this example, the schematic with a T filter. And of course, again, don't forget to filter or to discharge the electrostatic discharge to should be connected. Uh, if you don't have all this schematic on your board and you fail the EMI test, I highly recommend to try this adapter. This is a EMC and ESD solution for your device if you're failing during the EMC test. And uh, you can implement all this schematic to your uh, design. If that not fit because your board have uh, not enough space, no problem. We did make also a small USB connector. And this USB connector have already implemented and built in into connector this solution as well. So you have the ESD, this, uh, ESD suppressor and you have the common mode chokes as well inside. You just have to desolder your connector, you solder this back and that's all. But let's see what will happen if we are testing that on my own laptop. Now I'm using my ESD gun with 16,000 volt and shot on a USB port. So like you see my laptop did survive so I don't need a new laptop so I'm very happy and I hope you so that you will implement that to your board that your design will also survive all these EMC tests. So see you next time. Bye bye.